Alright everyone and welcome back to Season 14 of AOR. This is F2 on Xbox One and uh, yeah we're here for Round 12 of the season today then. Uh, the Belgian Grand Prix at Spa and um, yeah here we are on our best qualifying lap then. Coming here off the back of a fourth podium in a row in Hungary and um, yeah still sat at the top of the table then with our lead having been cut down a little bit last time out having been beaten by LGS he was second I was third so um, yeah we've coming into this one then with a 53 point lead then and uh, yeah we'll be hoping to um, yeah come away from this very soon still with a big lead intact uh, of course we're like we're guaranteed to be like leading now at least until we get to Singapore but obviously uh, we'd like to sort of maintain that buffer if we can you know sort of not have to worry too much about uh, the gap being closed down and um, yeah if we can actually open it back up again then that would be great but um, yeah as I say can't really take too many risks um, but um, as I say still a long way to go so um, if we see opportunities we've got to go for it really um, like being complacent just isn't going to work out especially when you got as great as competitive with this one and um, yeah we're coming to the end of our lap then as you saw there I was purple through sector 2 so I did have a feeling here I had a good chance at maybe getting pole position here but then LGS actually set us a 43-3 so uh, it's probably not as likely now then unless we have a worldy final sector but to the line it should still be a good improvement here and we do move ourselves up then onto the front row right alongside our uh, main championship rival then uh, with Gorge Crab taking third place with the VBR Mac 2 on 2 in fourth and um, yep only 13 people again unfortunately a few people missing once again but uh, yeah hopefully you know it's just been like an unlucky few weeks in that regard and we'll have some more full grids again soon but uh, yeah strategy should be one stop then uh, pitting around about lap 5 or 6 for the soft tyres and they'll go the rest of the way I would think as the luck's coming on now then and away we go and it is a pretty good start actually from us in second I know it's a little bit of lag there for LGS but it does seem that we had a better start and we're going to run around the outside then uh, leaving plenty of space just in case there are cars on the inside there and uh, yeah, we're side by side then with LGS. It looks like he, well, we've had about a pretty much level run out of the first corner again. Side by th side and throw Rouge. We were on the outside there for Radion, and it looks like we've managed to take the lead then. And we're going to look behind and yeah, to see where LGS was, but there's like four wide nearly behind us then. But luckily they're all bound with each other, and uh, yeah, we've managed to get a clean run then into Lacombe. And uh, yeah, we're into the lead then. It's all uh, chopping and changing behind us then. It looks like it is Herschel and Matt uh, then for the time being, but uh, yeah, we held the lead then for this first stint. Uh, Matt went up into second place, Herschel dropped back, so did LGS in fact as well. But uh, yeah, Brown was sending the person to watch I think in this because he qualified on the Super Soft Tires. He was uh, comfortably inside the top 10 and uh, yeah, he's up to third already then. But um, yeah, all the way to lap 6 then, so we're um, pitting now then, so will Matt behind us. As uh, into the pits we come then for our one mini stop in this race, Brown stays out as you would expect there. In fact no, Matt didn't pit there, Brown actually overtook him before he even got to the pit lane. So um, yeah, they both stay out then and um, yeah, we'll be coming in now then for our one mini stop. I believe LGS had already pit at this point and I think Herschel may have actually had front wing damage which is what, um, which was why he pitted earlier than us. But um, out of the pits we come then we're going to be behind Coldhead. And uh, I thought maybe had a bit of clean, clean, uh, clear track then, but Iceberg did just about get out in front of us then. And we have got Bobbitts right behind us as well. We do get the arrest though, because the detection point is right before our route. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have the arrest now then. And we do have a great run on these fresh tyres. And, uh, yeah, we're up then into sixth place. And luckily then, managed to avoid any traffic in this tight middle sector. So, um, yeah, skip into later on the lap then, we've got a nice clear track in front of us then. Through bunch in fact a huge crash up in front of us then. TRL Ellis spinning off into the barriers. He actually had a puncture in the middle of the corner there, so... Some, uh, yeah, what an unfortunate place for that to happen for him then. And uh, that is his race over in, yeah, very spectacular style. 
as we've got Gorton in the pits now then, Matt in the pits, and also interestingly Brown. So not really, you know, extracting the full maybe life out of those super soft tyres there, maybe looking to just follow sort of what me and Matt were doing, not losing touch to us I guess. And it did seem to work out for him then because he was only a few seconds behind us there as he came out of the pits. But uh, yeah, Coldhead certainly decided to um, go stay out on those super soft tyres for a while then. And um, yeah, unfortunately we catch him at just the wrong place there. And um, uh, yeah, we, we're going to be stuck behind him then for most of the second sector it looks like. And that is going to allow Brown to catch us up quite a bit. As um, yeah, he runs a bit wide there and um, yeah, we're all over the back and then just <laughs> not really anywhere you can pass it except that... Um, yeah, we get a great run then towards Stabler and around the outside then. Uh, we actually managed to take the place and uh, yeah, we're back up into the lead then, but Brown within DRS range now. So uh, yeah, we're going to have a lot of defending to do if we're going to hold on to this win. Uh, we'll take the win and hold on to the lead, that is. And um, yeah, Brown then. We're with DRS now then. We're going to go defensive. And um, yeah, it looks like we've just about gone a straight line speed here then to hold on. And luckily we do actually have enough fuel then to run Rich all the way down that straight on every lap until the end of the race. So that is good for us then. So um, yeah, looks like we may have that one covered then, but into turn one then on lap 16. And uh, yeah, I think Brown having tried that a few times, uh, well the run down the camel straight a few times, hadn't worked out for him. Went for the lunge into turn one. I don't know if he was like intentionally running the out wide there, but it uh, didn't really work out. Because um, uh, yeah, we still had a great run then. Uh, out, well, uh, towards the route and then at the top of Radion there and um, yeah we've got DRS and we're going to cruise back then into the lead of the race so um, yeah that worked out quite well for us then and um, yeah we're back up then into the lead with about uh, six and a half laps to go then and um, yeah on to the next lap then but he's actually got a great run out of Arouge this time then the closest he's been through that section of corners then and this time before I could even go to cover it then he's getting alongside us and uh, yeah he had a lot more straight line, straight line speed this time so uh, yeah he's at the inside now then and it uh, looks like he's just about through and into the lead but we're still all over the back and then so we'll try and come back he goes defensive towards Ravage there sees what we were doing we're going to try and run it running outside but uh, yeah we bring it a little bit too wide there and uh, yeah he's going to go through and into the lead of the race then and um yeah, he finally sort of got a good drive through Bradley on there and that really gave him a lot more straight line speed down the uh, straight that time and put him in a much better position and uh, yeah, we couldn't stay with him after that he did seem to have a lot more pace sort of tucked away then as he was sort of stuck behind us but uh, yeah, it's going to be a solid result then we sort of maintained the gap to LGS we had a few bad laps but when we were sort of both doing clean laps it was pretty much even in fact we got yellow flags and he has crashed out of the race and on the final lap that's unbelievable stuff and um, yeah it was pretty much like no one was really catching each other at that point so I guess um, his tyres just gave up or something but uh, yeah he has crashed out of the race and on the final lap of the race so that is unbelievable stuff there and uh, yeah that has just given us then a huge points gain over him then as even though we've lost the win today that is still a massive second place uh, well done then to Brown for being the third um, no, that's not true actually. Uh, he he does win back to back races, then, but LGS did that earlier in the season. So, um, yeah, well done to Brown then for that win. We were second, then with Gorsh in third. And um, yeah, looking third down, Matt was actually unlucky not to get uh, that final podium place in an unfortunate incident with Bobbitts, I think, for him. Uh, LGS then, having completed more than 90% of the race, will be classified in ninth place, so does get two points then. But crucially then for the championship, that has opened up our lead to 69 points now then with eight rounds to go. So uh, yeah, we're looking at a nice big margin now then. And that does also take out of um, LGS's hands now as well. So in the unlikely event that um, like the next eight races are LGS in first and me in second, then that would uh, still be enough for me to win the championship. So um, I don't think it's that, that likely that it's going to go that way because it is a very competitive tier but sort of knowing that I sort of have control over it now is sort of um, a lot more sort of comforting I guess but yeah we've still got a long way to go and a lot to do if we are gonna uh, still be top at the end of the season so uh, yeah I've got a very uh, interesting eight races coming up then I think 
in the season. And uh, yeah, we're coming to a track next then, which I've never really done that well at. Uh, well, I've certainly never won a race there in like about uh, nearly six years of racing now, and that is uh, Monza. So uh, yeah, as I say, I think it's going to be a very interesting uh, uh, end to the season then. And uh, yeah, we'll have to see what happens then because um, yeah, I'd say it's far from over at this point. So um, yeah, that is it then for this race. Hope you enjoy it. Leave like you did. And uh, yeah, I'll see you for that race then in Italy next time out. Thanks for watching and goodbye.